Hi children, today we are going to learn finger knitting. We can use different types of wool and uh, see I have done some of it here. So uh, I am going to show you in this color because it is really bright and I am sure you will be able to see it clearer. First we take the tail, we are calling this the rat's tail and now we are going to pay, play a game which is called the rat run around the pillar. So the first, this is the big fat rat. Okay. So this rat goes behind the first finger, then it comes in front of the middle finger, then again it goes behind the ring finger, then it comes in front of the last finger and it goes around the last finger. Why does it go around? Because there is no more fingers here and the rat wants to go back there. So it plays and goes around the pillar. Now it goes in front of the ring finger, behind the middle finger and it comes in front of the first finger. Now you look, there is only one, one, one loop and for me to knit, I need two, two loops. So what do I do? The rat plays the game again. So it goes behind the first finger, in front of the middle finger, behind the ring finger, comes to the front of the little finger, there are no more fingers so it turns around. And then now what happens? It comes in front of the ring finger, goes behind the middle finger and it comes in front of the first finger. Now look, every finger has two of these loops and that means it is time to knit. So how do I knit? You can begin this way, you can go this way. So it is easier for me when I do this finger first. Okay, so we take the lower one. Don't take the upper one because if you take the upper one, you won't have anything to jump over. So you take the lower one, it jumps over the upper one and then you'll have to turn and twist your finger a bit till you get used to it, okay? And then once you get used to it, it's going to be such an easy thing to do. And now you take the lower, lower ring, lower loop and bring it across. See how your fingers also start helping you? They themselves start bending and going inside and then it makes it so easy for you. Okay, there you are. you see that so that was your first one then don't forget don't let go of the tail yet otherwise your rat would go all over the place so now we have only one one loop I can't knit for me to knit I need two two loops so what do I do again let's play the game it goes behind the first finger in front of the middle finger behind the ring finger in front of the small finger little finger and it goes around the little finger now it becomes front of the ring finger, behind the middle finger now and then in front of the first finger. So now what happens? You have two rings each. So what do you do? Take the lower one and start knitting and then your fingers will help you by bending it so that it is easy for you to take it. And then you take this one. There you are. See how easy it was? There you are and there you go. I know most of you have already understood and you're excited to start let me just show you once more so those of you who want to see it again can see it so if some of you find it easier you can bring it a little higher here okay and let's start again and the big fat rat is ready to run it goes behind the first finger in front of the middle finger behind the ring finger and once it reaches the little finger, there are no more fingers. So what does it do? It goes around the little finger, comes in front of the ring finger, goes behind the middle finger, comes in front of the first finger. Now you have two, 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 two again. So I know most of you will see. Now let's start knitting and here we are. What do we do? Take the lower one, pass it on. Take the lower one, pass it on. Your fingers will also help you. Pass it on. <coughs> There you are. See? So like this, this is just the beginning. Once you knit some more, then you'll see a beautiful knitted. And you can make your friendship band with this. You can make it to use as a hairband. You can make it as a... You can even make different uh, things like uh, you can make a rabbit. You can make butterflies. You can make so many things out of this. There you are. I will knit like this for a bit and I'll show you what 
how it looks like. And now if you want, you can let go. Uh, reached the length that I want for me. I'm making a wristband, so my wrist is here. I don't need a very big piece, so this is enough. So likewise, you also measure, is it a wristband, is it a hairband, whatever you're making it for, once you get the length. Now, we must cast and we must finish it off. So for finishing, I'm gonna teach you. You're in the last line that you've done. Now, from the little finger, you put in the ring finger. Just slide it here. And now, taking the one that you've slided, pick up. This is reverse of what you were knitting. So you take the lower one on top here. And now this one goes on the middle finger. And then with this, you manage to pick this one up. Okay. So you are. And now the last one goes here. And then you pick this one up. And then you, this big rat goes inside the hole for the last time. There you are. So, now she finished this one. And, yeah. So you take scissors and cut it off. It is ready now. So you have a beautiful hand knitted wristband or hairband, however you want to wear it. Okay, so enjoy hand knitting children. Have fun.